I think one of the biggest ironies in all of history is the name of God's holy city, Jerusalem. And the reason is because Jerusalem, or Yerushalayim, literally means the city of peace. But an honest question would be, has there ever been a city in all of history where peace has been more absent than in Jerusalem? It's like someone saying, I don't know much about Jerusalem, but this much I know. It's not known for being a city of peace. So it's a sad irony. And the reason is because Jerusalem could have been the place of peace. It could have been the city of peace. It could have lived up to its name. But the reason it didn't is for the same reason that Jesus in today's gospel laments. He says, if only you had recognized the time of your visitation from God. In other words, Jerusalem and the people in it failed to accept Jesus as the long-awaited for Messiah. Now, I realize that most of, people, most of the people listening to me now have already accepted Christ as the Messiah, and because of that, you're already enjoying the peace that comes from having a relationship with the Prince of Peace, Jesus, but for Christ to really be the Messiah of our lives, and therefore, for us to know true peace, Jesus must occupy absolute first place in our lives. And that's where many of us, including myself, have a long, long way to go. This Christmas will likely be one of the most unique Christmases in all of our lifetimes. But one thing that these unique circumstances do give us the opportunity to do is to make even more room in our hearts for our Savior, perhaps more than previous years. So challenge yourself to see this coming Advent, this coming Christmas, as being an invitation from Christ, an invitation to make even more room in the city of your heart, as it were, for Jesus, the long-awaited for Messiah.